you guys. Welcome to another episode of Sunscreen Saturday, your number one anti-aging tool. Today we're taking a look at another Korean sunscreen. This one from Make Prem. This is the box. Now Make Prem, I've reviewed a couple of things before. They've done minerals and I just don't like that formula. I know that it is popular. I know that Angie loved it, but for me that milky formula doesn't work. And I have used their sun gel, I think it was, years and years ago. It was fine. It wasn't like fantastic. This one I have really high hopes for. This is the Make Prem UV Defense Me Daily Sun Essence. And that's what's getting me excited. My favorite sunscreens are no longer being made. They were, were from Korea. Some I got on Amazon, but they were never really released here, and I guess they put a kibosh on that. But they're a little bit more moisturizing than the two that I'm wearing the most now, which is the Innisfree, or Innistree, I can't remember, and the Can Make. Both are lovely. They're not drying. I go to them all the time. I've gone through many, many bottles of each, but I miss the one that's kind of moisturizing, and I'm hoping that this will be that. So some notable ingredients for antioxidant. They have tocopherol and rosemary leaf extract. Um, rosemary can be a little irritating. I know a lot of companies say it's soothing, but it's not my favorite thing, but there you go. For skin identicals, it has glycerin, uh, sunflower seed oil, and I can't pronounce this, unsaponif Fiabulous, which is probably French, <laughs> the way I pronounced it. But that is the part of the sunflower seed oil that resists becoming soapy, as I understand it. Anyway, I think it, it's very good for your barrier, has lipids and that kind of thing. The sunscreen in it is, I'm not going to tell you the Latin, or I don't even know if it is Latin, I'm going to give you the brand name. Juvenal A+, Juvenal T150, Tinosaur N, and then this one I didn't find a brand name for, Dithyhexyl Butamido Trisome, which is apparently very, very stable. And they are saying that this is light daily sun formulated with 73 moisture essence, gives a powerful UV production without greasiness. It's trash day. All right, I've already done my skincare. It's been on for about 15 minutes, so I'm really ready. I feel like I should have probably done it already. A quarter teaspoon is what you need to get the dose that is written on the bottle. This is a 50 SPF with a PA of plus, 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 i.e. four, which is the highest that you can get. But you're not gonna get any of this if you don't put the right amount on. It is two millimeters of product per centimeter square of surface, which roughly leads to a quarter of a teaspoon for the face. I'm gonna shake this up, and I'm going to use the teaspoon just so you can see what it looks like in your hand, so you can kind of get used to getting the right amount. Take a little bit more. And I'm going to put it in the hand so you can see what it looks like in the hand. It might shock you. There we go. That's how much you should be using. I really suggest that you use your teaspoons until you get used to what your formula looks like in your hand and then you'll be able to figure it out pretty easily. I like to just do this, you guys. In between the fingers, just like you do so many other things there's a slight scent, and these sunscreen filters I mentioned are the next generation filters. They're not approved in the United States. I believe they're used everywhere in the country, but the United States and Canada, and maybe Australia. I'm not sure about Australia. So it's in European sunscreens, and actually, I believe it's a German company, BASF, B-A-S-F, 
that created all of these uh, juveniles and Tidosaur, but I'm not 100% sure they did Tidosaur. That's it. Now, I like to wear makeup every day, pretty much every day, so it's very important that my sunscreen works with my foundation. I'm going to give this just a few minutes to sink into the skin, but I can feel it now. I can feel it's just sinking in and drying, um, which is such a nice experience for me because so many sunscreens that I try, especially in the mineral area, don't feel like they're sinking in. They're really laying on top of the skin and just, I don't really love that so much. This feels a little different, but I do feel that I should give it five minutes at least, considering this particular formula, before I go on. There's no white cast, so if you have beautiful skin and you don't need makeup, you could put this on and not worry about a whiteness. There's a little bit of a sheen, but I don't know if that's from my skincare or from this. So I'm going to turn off the camera and I'll be back in a few minutes and we're going to put on our foundation. It's really early, so I really have to search for words. And we'll see what that looks like. A few minutes have passed and I feel that this is sunken in very nicely. I feel the presence, I think. I can't tell because I already have my skincare on. As always, I'm going in with my Makeup Forever Reboot, which is the foundation that I use when I'm doing testing to see how everything works together. My skincare routine is not deviated from the usual, so sometimes I play around a little bit with the ingredients, with the products. Today, no plain. No plain. So sad. Every time I put on the reboot, I miss it. I'm like, oh yeah. I love the scent. So far, I am not experiencing any bowling or pilling. That's wonderful. A little messy around the nose, which is kind of common. These work together beautifully. I don't see any problem and I don't feel any tightness going on where sometimes with the can make or the Innisfree, I sometimes feel the teeniest, teeniest bit of tightness. I don't feel that it's drying, but I just don't feel that it's hydrating and I feel like this one is. So I have very high hopes for this. I think I just want to do a little concealer. I'm gonna go in with the Dior. Oftentimes, when I do these videos, I will put on some creams and powders to see if everything is working well together. So we'll just do a little, a little bit of something. But I'm not going to do a full face. I do feel I should have let this sink in a few minutes longer before I went on with my foundation. When I turn the camera off, truly, it was probably not off for more than two minutes, so I think it, it was a pretty fast application, but it just felt like it was sinking in. But in retrospect, maybe I would have waited a full ten minutes. So I'm just going to do a little cream blush. This is the Laura Mercier in Parasol, and it's the Tinted Moisturizer Blush, which is such a weird name. A little bit goes a very long way, but it's buildable. And it's a water base. It, it feels like it's a water base. I feel like on my cheeks the sheen is beginning to dissipate a little bit. So if you think this look is a little too shiny, hold the phone. I think it might not, it's not going to go matte, but I think as everything's drying, 
um, a little bit of that sheen has calmed down. So that's that's a really interesting effect. So I want to keep on going with a little makeup so we can just give this uh, 10 minutes or so to get to know each other, to have a nice little handshake and decide if they're going to be friends. Or, well, they're obviously friends because there's no balling and pilling, but see what the final finish might be because right now I am not feeling the need to powder, which is great. So let's do a little powder. I'm still trying to figure out if I want to keep this multi-glow. I mean, I love this little abalone. I love that, but I really don't like the glitter <laughs> in this one. I'm trying to figure out if I want to keep this or not. So let's do a little more. I just haven't used it again since I got it. Let's see. There's no problem. I don't feel that it's lifting anything up, so that's good. It seems like powder is going to be fine. Okay. Um, I, I think there's no reason for me to wait any longer because I am starting to sweat. But I think as this will dry down and the two products, the sunscreen and the foundation, meld in with each other, I think a little bit of that shine will dissipate, which I kind of like, but it's not drying at all. Works well with the cream, works well with the powder, and I, I definitely i am getting a little sweaty, so I think no reason to continue on. I need to go into another room where it's a little cooler, you guys. I really like this. I will continue to use this. This is not going in the dead box that I have right by my feet, but it's going in the bathroom. I'm enjoying it. I don't have any tingling or tightness or weirdness that I often get from, well, let's face it, minerals. I'm, minerals don't agree with me too well, and it doesn't feel drying. I'm sure I've said that a million times, but this is more like the sunscreens that I used to wear that I love so much that are not being made anymore. And that is the Make Prem UV Daily Defense Me Sun Essence. And it's a big thumbs up. Thanks so much for spending some time with me. I know I'm really weird energy today. My head is killing me. I'm definitely having sinus issues. And I don't think I have Sudafed or anything like that. Until we meet again, be safe and smart. And I'm wishing you good health.